Hello there, my name is Lamanjai. This is News Review. Thank you for being there. Coming up on the show today, Life Without Water. The Fatu Network investigates the water problem of the people of Farato. President Barrow gives new buses to students of the University of the Gambia. Two new buses, actually. Uh, today, my guest will be MP Al Haji uh, Jawara. He will be joining me on the show. But also, the, uh, the three year project of the EU Take a Fee slash GIZ project ended last week in Basse. Uh, these are more coming up. But uh, today, there will be no review of the newspaper. So, we'll go straight into the show, beginning with President Barrow giving two new buses to students of the UTG. This donation or presentation of these new buses took place yesterday at the State House. More in this. The President presented the new buses to the UTG student representatives on Wednesday, handing over the keys to the students' representatives. President Barrow, who is also the Chancellor of the University, called on them to maintain peace and stability for the country's development. We want to maintain peace and stability in this country. If there is no peace, we cannot conduct this ceremony. If there is no peace, you cannot go to school. It doesn't want it. We belong to this country. We have nowhere. Wherever you go, you will be second class citizen. This is the only country that you are first class citizen and that you will change. Let's make so we protect this country. Let's make so we nurture peace in this country. Let's make so we come together, work together. It's not, it's not your size that matters. It's what you are able to do. UTG Acting Vice Chancellor Professor Pierre Gomez was thankful of the President's intervention. We so are going to have uh, six new bo uh, bosses for the first time. We've never had that. And then also, and uh, government and uh, the, the governing council management has also made the plan so that in three months' time, Two additional buses will be provided, we will make it four, which means within three months, four additional buses would have been added to the pool of buses that we have, which is unprecedented in the history of UT. So we are very grateful today that history has been made and uh, all geared towards making, uh, creating a conducive environment for everybody. Osman Jase is the president of the students of the UTG. He too was at the presentation event. I should use this opportunity to express sincere gratitude and appreciation to His Excellency, the President of the Republic of the Gambia, for providing the students of the University of the Gambia with two new courses. We made this request not so long ago, and within a blink of an eye, the government responded very positively. That has demonstrated the commitment of the government and the, and the support of the president to higher education in this country, especially students of the University of the Gambia. Mr. President, we are grateful. You have always been supportive to the University of the Gambia students, especially the student senior. This is not the first time that you have demonstrated your Samaritan commitment to addressing problems that we are facing in the University of the Gambia. The students of the UTG recently protested over conditions at the university. One of their demands during that protest was for buses to be bought to ease their travel suffering. The two buses will now go a long way in terms of the travel needs of the UTG students. Now, now a neighborhood in Farato is facing serious water problems, especially the women. The women, women are the people who are most affected by this water problem uh, there. Sergio Brito was in Farato and she came through with this extended report. The one thing that humans can't live without is water. Our daily lives or human civilization cannot be imagined without it. By 2025, water scarcity in Africa is expected or is predicted to reach dangerously high levels, according to research. The community of Farah to Babylon in the West Coast region is one that has been experiencing acute water shortage for nearly two weeks, according to residents.
This is Fatu Kante. She lives in this compound with 11 other people. For a few weeks now, she, like most residents of Farah to Babylon, have been facing acute water shortage. Consequently, their home tap, she says, hasn't had a single drop of water for weeks now. And if not for the same Samaritan who erected a borehole in the neighborhood, Fatu wouldn't even have the luxury to rinse her utensils after she was done cooking. Am take up when I give you a because some tala jang you could be in bakele. Mostly so gonna cut on phone tara, geo because I don't tell like you. I'm a me from Kuran and a cabin kuran and pump boning but operate and science. So cabin kunu su don't tang and a geo be. So be a bull kuran combating at our bean man. Anyway, you go and told but and gang and a cabin match and told a geo sort of ya. On new coole, so send and kuran ye and you will man see and combating at us and kuran ye bin because what I'm winning pump over young honey sapani fundy, ye bolo send and kuala, but same thing you for Fatu and her family, getting water from the borehole has become the new normal. Despite having their own tap at home and paying their monthly water bill to the National Energy and Water Supplier Company, NAWEC. Aside from getting water to wash dishes, cooking and doing all the household chores, this family had to abandon their modern toilets inside their apartments for the traditional squat toilet built just next to where garbage is thrown in the compound. Landlady Nos Jame tells me they sometimes will get water from the borehole and use it to flush down the toilet and when there isn't enough for that, they resort to the traditional squat toilet. Okay. Nous sommes tous les deux en train de faire des choses. Nous sommes tous les deux en train de faire des choses. Nous sommes tous les deux en train de faire des choses. Nous sommes tous les deux en train de faire des choses. Nous sommes tous les deux en train de faire des choses. Nous sommes tous les deux en train de faire des choses. Nous sommes tous les deux en train de faire des choses. Nous sommes tous les deux en train de faire des choses. Nous sommes tous les deux en train de faire des choses. Nous sommes tous les deux en train de faire des choses. Nous sommes tous les deux en train de faire des choses. Nous sommes tous les deux en train de faire des choses. Nous sommes tous les deux en train de faire des choses. Nous sommes tous les deux en train de faire des choses. Nous sommes tous les deux en train de faire des choses. Nous sommes tous les deux en train de faire des choses. Nous sommes tous les deux en train de faire des choses. Nous until a neighbor helped her out with a 20-liter gallon of water to make the family meal preparation possible. I went to the house for two weeks. 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 Ndo wulda manjio zote hani na tabiri njio fa ngamu le dani bidon kilina yenzo na tabiri wako la mbeta tabiri wake kwa wale hani kujiti tembulu nte fengi jiti tembul na dini nola inform kwa itara kara muda ni jira jiti tembul vambe la inform wale kula men jiji kujaka lo enja kala ndi ba kile farato jam jio enja kala ndi ba kile pompo la bukana sana pompo la fa ina fa fa duayad tangu tio ni ada tangu mandar kiren sila ntolbe jio bundi la mi. Bunyasise is one of the Samaritans who built a borehole in his compound to help not only his family but people living in his community. Jambe saf diolale, jangi area be, safu mesha da korra keme na ni keme lulti, ube jama be kana jai kana bijam. Eka muna fambasho do jang. Somanda fauraro ni aje molman na jandrong na wegnat. So ni na wakata of drong geoman soto pompol to drong be kanale kane bijang ha 24 hours mul kane bijang mul kasi ya ba ke jam be a be ka ke fengkolti to dum bidongolti ya ye bidon fula tara jang elokita ba. Jibe Samura is one of the lucky ones with walls at home. Ni ko e bata ndi ba leke katu ni a je haru puro ngake na manta be ngonga kolongo soto ni kolongo de fopo bo dama changa tara shaunda. Madasa, bari juu kwa mwa kwa mbeja. Imagine ngadu kura wada da kama puru kula njibio. Bari ni ni afanya kwa akuliara. Muga sabano. Muga sabano. Muga sabano. Ngamwe ni dunia kwa fa wangu iba lori nunjere iba jara jara kama bari ndefa wewe jara jara kana de. Yo, bidi ajel. He jara jara wole muri. Fonga du kura wata ngamwe gie sabal. Ba fonga mi, fonga uku. Salke mi njia la fa. Ni mwanjia soto. Mbemi na la. Ni mwa pombo mwa soto. Pompo bembulu, kolo bembia, yeye bokasho. Pompo, 
As I helped the woman pull the bucket of water from the wall, I noticed the color of the water was not very clear, making me wonder if it was suitable for drinking. The global health burden associated with lack of access to clean drinking water and sanitation is staggering. The WHO estimates that 1.6 million deaths are registered every year from diseases associated with lack of access to safe drinking water, inadequate sanitation, and poor hygiene. Serin Fadera expresses his dissatisfaction with the National Water Company and questions how they can go out of water and electricity for weeks and still receive a bill at the end of the month. Kabirin kunumfan, boda program ola na da jio man so don ben kula men because jang kolonte jang. Nyim pombo men be jang, modo len tolzo nyim pop bohol ola jang, nga wo sinjang, ye mira mo eta do ko la na nyanta jio men fo minna, abe kula jio menna, abe tabiro kula jio menna. Abga so no, adun nawe kula bilo kana. Foy wo jo Karo kari bilo kana na ibuka memfa mira because ntela pompo be suoko no ah one month dio manana nje e bilo sa mananje last time ngajo e do fanan sa mananje ngoy ko bara la nyin ji buka sodje sa wobe keno la nyade moye wo ko jibe ba o ko bala fa waral di life without water for communities like farat or babylon one is left wondering if the national water and electricity company is aware of the cries and pleas of these people I sat down with the public relations officer of the company Per Silva to find out what's going on. Are you aware of the cries and pleas of certain Gambian communities regarding the current water shortage? Yeah, thank you very much for coming. Um, as a service provider, we have different ways of communicating with our, our customers. And whenever there are crises, we get the information either from the social media or the print and electronic media. We are aware of the fact that uh, many communities in the greater Bangal area are faced with some water challenges as well as electricity. But this is uh, due to a lot of factors. And these factors are one, currently we are facing with some electricity gap deficit. Um, the power that we generate from our power stations is less than the demand, especially during the, the peak period. And this is why some people face the challenges of it not, not having electricity at some point in time. And this also has drastically affected our water supply. You would know that um, we use the electricity to draw water to evacuate water from our boreholes and then pump it to the, to the treatment plant and then to the overhead tanks and then to the people. So when electricity is affected because we have a, a capacity deficit, it also affects the way we draw water from these boreholes. Although plants are afoot to make sure that we fit those boreholes with either standby generators or solar panels. Some of them are already have already got stand, standby generators. So at the moment, this is what we are faced with. There are some areas, uh, frankly, that are hard hit by the challenges in which we are, we are at the moment. And I think... Uh, we are aware of it, management is aware of it, and we are doing everything humanly possible to make sure that we get away from the problems that we are facing. And, and one of the places that is actually very hard hit is the community of Farato Babylon. We visited them yesterday and they allege they haven't had a single drop of water for about three weeks. Is there any specific technical issue going on there or is it just related to exactly what you've stated? What is really happening is we have a gap in the required water supply that needs to meet the demand of our customers. And it has been made worse in one, as I said, by the capacity gap that we have at the moment. And two, some of the boreholes that are connected to the treatment plant in Brikama, which supplies water to the area you've mentioned, are down. And uh, NAWEC made several attempts to go to those uh, boreholes according to the water department because I also depend on the information getting from our departments or that are responsible for these services. That the, the road that leads to those boreholes have been used by many motorists and they are not accessible. But as we speak, they are already on the ground to do some repairs on those two boreholes. And then other two are also down and beyond repairs. So the plan is they're going to drill 
some borehole suggested to the ones that have, have some problems and we cannot, they are beyond repairs. So this is some of the problems that we have. We can also know that because there is no electricity, when electricity goes off in the boreholes and it comes down, when we pump water, it's unlike electricity where you can go off. When you come down in the twinkle of an eye, everybody gets electricity. But unlike water, if there is a breakdown in the transmission of electricity, by the time you come back and draw water from the borehole to the treatment plant, to the overhead tanks, to the end user, it takes a span of some hours. And you look at uh, Babylon as, you, you, as we speak, the topography of that area is on the high land. And water, the way it travels, if there is not that much electricity to be able to push, it becomes a problem. And finally, one of the things that the residents raised was that they don't understand how they don't have water for probably two, three weeks, and yet still the bill comes to them. I'm not going to ask how billing is done, because that is probably internal information. But how do you respond to, to, to things like this? Yeah, what, what they are saying is, is right. It is what is happening. Uh, but the policy that we have as a, as a company is when you're giving a meter, whether the meter is used, it is running or not, whether the service is provided or not, we have what we call, uh, what is the name again? We have what we call uh, a, a rental fee attached to that, 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 that meter. So at the end of the month, even if your meter is not read or it has not shown that you have been given the service, there is an attached rental fee of $200. So if you have something that is more than that and you think that for over that period you have not been getting a drop of water, you as a customer can come to NAWEC and then complain and then we see how we can rectify that. Even after more than five decades of nationhood, urban Gambia itself continue to grapple with inadequate water supply, with women bearing the brunt of a crisis that adds to their daily household chores. In fact, the continent's dire water troubles are summed up in a 2019 UNESCO report that was conducted in 25 sub-Saharan African countries. That report concluded that women spend not less than 16 million hours a day collecting drinking water, whereas their male counterparts spend only six million hours. For Gambian communities like Farato, this is a weight they must endure as boreholes become their saving grace, at least for now. Tough Africa Global is the first and biggest private real estate developer in the Gambia with a presence in seven other African countries. We are launching the development of the first smart and most modern office and retail towers in the Gambia called Tough Twins. Located in the heart of the Kanifin institutional area and 10 minutes drive from Banjul, Tough Twins is designed to have five floors of office spaces ranging from 50 meters square to over 1,000 meters square, two elevators, central air conditioning, 24-hour electricity and water supply, with the ground floor reserved for banking, supermarket, restaurant and coffee shops. For your bookings and reservations, please call now on 376-2333 or 776-2333. Welcome back. So, lawmaker, MP, Alhaji Jawara of Lower Body, who joins me now. Honorable, thank you for thank coming you on, on the show. Thank you, Mr. Uh, first things first, I have a couple of things that I want us to discuss. Let's begin with the president's visit today okay. to Kanilai. Yes. I mean, since he came to power 2016, mm. this is a village mm -hmm. that he has never visited, mm -hmm. former President Jame's hometown. Yeah. What's your view or take on this? Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Njai, for having me, and thank you, viewers. Uh, first of all, I think. Uh, of the uh, visit of the president to Canada is very, very timely. Mm -hmm. And uh, I really welcome this for the fact that Canada or Fony is part of Gambia. We cannot sideline them. And we vote for President Barrow to be a uniting figure. Mm -hmm. And that's what he's doing. So I am very much happy when I heard that the president is going to Canada, Demban, then from Demban he will go to Canada, the former president's uh, hometown. Let me say, we should nurture the concept of uh, tolerance. Once we accept each other, we accept each other's religion, we accept each other's uh, culture, norms and value, we will be as one people. If I don't respect you of who you are, it will be difficult for you also to respect me. And respect is a reciprocal. 
So President Barrow is a uniting figure. Honestly speaking, he's a man of peace and he's very straightforward and he's a uniting figure. And I'm very much happy about his visit to Canada today. So Fonyi has struggled in terms of moving on yeah. post Jame. Mm. Jame is very much loved. Yeah. He's their son. Yeah. He's very much loved in Fonyi since he lost power. Mm -hmm. The people of Fonyi have struggled really, find it really difficult to move, mm -hmm. uh, to even accept President Barrow. Yeah. Now you have the president uh, uh, going to uh, Canada, mm -hmm. but also coming at a time when you have the APRC deciding to support or back the president. It's, it's not about APRC supporting or backing the president. This is an alliance. You understand? APRC, as you said, I will repeat one of your words. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the two evils. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> APRC have to see. Yes. The lesser evil. Yes. <laughs> your own words. So, they have to go for that. So, this and is what they have done. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and I believe this is the uh, this is a, a very very good choice for APRC. Yes. Because honestly, every genuine Gambian will know that it is Barrow that can unite this country. I will tell you a little bit of history about Barrow himself. Yeah. If you look at it, Barrow, if you look at all the tribes in Gambia, mm -hmm. Barrow has touched almost all the tribes. Not the Jolas, not the Maninkas, not the Fulas, not the Saracules. So naturally... In fact, he is the first president of the government to enjoy that. Exactly, and speak that almost all the major languages. Yeah. So therefore, we will say that Baro is a united figure for the fact that naturally, God has made Baro a coalition before made in a man-made coalition. So we are very much happy about that. And uh, as you said, for the Fonyi people or the APRC to accept the alliance with the uh, NPP, this is a very, very wonderful political decision. APRC has never taken. You have some who are still unwilling mm -hmm. to accept the president yes. or to accept NPP. Yeah. I mean, that, that is this movement, so-called no alliance to, or no co yeah. coalition movement. So uh, that one, I will answer that very simply. I mean, I will tell you, even God who make all of us, not everybody succumbs to God's decision. So there will be fragment and there will be fraction that some will accept and some will not. We, we, anywhere in the world, that's natural and we accept that. But I know the junk part of APRC and those who are thinking for the future of APRC, those who are thinking for the future of, of not only themselves but for generations to come will go to borrow than any other party. Could the, U, the APRC have worked with, let's say, UDP? Of course. Could that ever happen? Yes, of course. You because did, because you, you said something, you said the, the APRC realized that President Barrow is the only United person, figure. leader who... Let me, I will tell you this secret. Mm -hmm. I'm a parliamentarian, but I don't have any, mm -hmm. like, boundary between me and other parties' members, no. Mm -hmm. They respect me and I respect them. And we do interact, we do chat. There are political parties in this country, I don't want to mention names. Mm -hmm. And if I want to, I will. It yes. doesn't mean that I fear no, but I fear yes. only Allah. Yes. I swear to God. But the fact is, they try all their best to get APRC on their side, but they couldn't. Who did that? UDP tried. Do you Thous have evidence for thousand this? Thousand times. I have evidence. I have meeting with APRC NAMS. Not one, not two, not three. Before this alliance. So they actually wanted to work with They APRC. want it, yes. They so want APRC it. rejected it or what? APRC don't want to listen to them. I mean that, look, if you do something to me yesterday and which is good, and today you do something for me, Automatically, tomorrow I will expect that you're going to do more for me. But if you do something bad for me yesterday and today also you did it for me, what would I expect in the future? They tried hundred times, but they couldn't succeed. And automatically, when we came in, we start with their norms. We have dialogue and other stuff. Yet, if UDP condemned APRC's decision to work with NPP. Why would they condemn that? Do you think they have any moral authority standing alone? No, 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 I don't think. Other parties like uh, Doi, for example, I will give you a sample. If Doi says today, we don't want it in this country, for me, I particularly, I will accept that, yes, they have the moral authority to say that because they go with principle. I respect them for that. Despite I don't share the same political ideology with them, mm -hmm. but I respect their principles. Yes. But apart from Doi, mm -hmm. Who else, who political party will stood before us and say, you know, um, APRC should not go to NPP? Tell me, when UDP, when, when coalition government came into power, how many norms from, a, from APRC moved to UDP? 
with the with 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 my successor honorable suku singade how many names suku went there with how many names almost 20 to 19 to 20 names they don't condemn that emeba went there did they condemn that mm -hmm. and right now this uh, how to call it jobate did they condemn that mm -hmm. huh sabali did they condemn sabali look people have to think it doesn't mean our heads are very heavy for that we god gave us the brain to think and analyze issues when sugo was there they held him they pressed him but immediately he left and that is his political right his political decision he have right to move even from today from npp to any other political party but they insulted him they say all kinds of words is that politics Honestly, I'm sorry to say, but Yet, I know. UDP <coughs> is on a tour of the nation. They are always coming just after the president <laughs> finished his nationwide tour of the country. They have, they have also hit the road. Yeah. They are in Badibu. Yesterday, uh, Dabo entered Badibu. I mean, I mean, uh, Kerawan. Uh, yes. There was a lot of fanfare, really. You have this, a lot of people who have welcomed him to, into Badibu. Your, Badibu. your, your yeah, Badibu. Yeah, exactly. Let me tell But I think I, I, will, I will remind you of yes. one thing. Yes. I once told you here that yes. Badibu is for Badibungas. Yes. And they don't joke with their people. Yes. You understand? Yes. And they know what they are doing. And they know politics. They master it. Like I will say this in Maninka. Lunta wanana te ya. Ela fitalo e man lafalo e kaji Is that what you what is happening in Badibu? Of course. Badibu. That's what it is. If you look at the UDP itinerary, they're supposed to spend the night in Kerawan and have a meeting there. Why would they move to Swarakunda? Why is it that they don't have a meeting in Kerawan? So tell us, tell us. Yeah, exactly. Because if you, like for example today, if I say I'm going to Fatu Network, and I arrive in this hall, and nobody gave me, like the, the what this Giriyar used to say, the famous Kora King, Jalba Kuyade. Mm -hmm. Ako nyabuka sorok, but sorok kona dala mu sor la folo. Ya ona zel. So ni dala dala dia jeko definitely speaking. Major neighbor, I'm not confident with myself. You have to move somewhere. Ola nala kaya dunia fano. So they they shifted. They shifted. Yeah, they shifted. They shifted from Kerawan to Swarakunda, and that's where they did their meeting. But they had a good meeting in Swarakunda. Are you bothered at all by this? You are MP. You tell me, Mujela MP. You are the MP of Lower Badibo. But in terms of what I will happened, I will in tell Badibu. you this. I will tell you this, Badibo. Yes. Huh? Now, Kate Fayman can Adam Boro be Kanye laje. Kate Fayman can Alaji Jawara be Kanye laje. Phone in common left with the video. You may win now. By and force, I tell you this. Yeni base mune kano. Based on principles. Let me jora. Let me enjoy. I have an interview with you yes. in 2019 when they expel us. Yes. Bring President Barobi that Yes, yes, I remember that. What I told you was, um, I'm giving this warning to all the leaders, including President Barrow. You have to work for people tangibly mm -hmm. in third world politics, for people to see that, yes, this is what he has done, this is what he has done. Things that they can see and feel. Mm -hmm. And President Barrow has done that. You understand? I myself, when I came into power, I divided my salary into three. One for my family, one for my politicians, and one for my people. And that's what I did. I, did, I, I built my own women's ward in Kerawa. On my own cost. It is almost at the completion stage. So people have seen that. No MP has ever done that. You understand? So these are things that people will see and calculate. And how do you interact with your people? It doesn't mean that you have to go there often this and this. No. But go there and you listen to the decision makers. Go to the ghettos. Go to the boys. Have this interaction with them. You understand? Have dialogue with them. I mean responsible people. You understand? Mm -hmm. Automatically you will know what is happening there because you are from that community. You are from that society. You already know, but they are just giving you an information that you don't know. So that's it. That's the role of an MP. Representation. Did so automatically, I am telling you, mm -hmm. within these four years, what President Barrow has done, in, in, in 30 years, Jawara didn't do it when it comes to net road network infrastructure. In 20 years, Jambe did not do it. Both of them, both Jambe and, 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 and uh, how to call it, PPP, mm -hmm. if you add them together, road network infrastructure, they'd be 600 kilometers, 800 kilometers rather. When President Barrow came in, 600 kilometers, what is the difference? 200 kilometers in four years. This one 20 years, this one 30 years.
Seriously speaking, look at what he has done here. Also, this ambulance is a community ambulance. This is the force of its kind. Go to Basi tomorrow. You see the roads and bridges. The time we were going there for campaign during the coalition tour. Lamin Jan Dadra from Filtanyoma. Many a jail on Basi de Mudusa Nonian. Well, they motor lamp hold the Purkamol Sunday Yoka. Well, for Nabi Gambia Lacono, I can now mold your mold the Muiti. President Baro, I like him for one thing. President Baro Bora Society Lacono, me along co, I loan you no leke, like I I demo leke, coming Santo de Dindona, but I sent her on call the demolon. You understand? I sent her on call the demolon, so automatically I have a balafas of La Sandongolian. So that is why I like him and that is why I'm supporting him. Nico Abe winner, if you say the president is winning, you have critics who say, I mean, people who are helping him in terms of his strategist, mm -hmm. in terms of these people that are doing the groundwork for mm -hmm. him. It, what you hear people say or, or critics say is that you are f deceiving him, you are fooling him, telling him he has people <laughs> when he doesn't have people. I have seen people say that a lot no, of but times. Let, let, good. That's a very good question. But if you look at it from 2019 to 2021, what people were saying, he don't have nobody. President Barrow is the luckiest president so far. A president without any MP. A president who have, at the time before, mm -hmm. did not have even one MP at the parliament. Mm -hmm. How did he struggle mm -hmm. to succeed up to today? So you say that person don't have nobody. And today, if President Barrow goes out, if you look at the crowd, nobody will tell you whether he or she happy. The, the answer is yes, he have people. And those who are doing that for him are there for him. If those people are not there for him, he will not have people. So that's politics. Your critics has to give you a way, but you have to find a way to debunk it. That's politics. That's politics. And that, uh, let, me, let me ask you about, uh, I, 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 because you are an honorable MP, yeah. uh, someone who is very much respected in MPP, mm -hmm. But this issue of women in the party not seeing eye to eye, Ika Sonka, mm -hmm. and all of that, how do you no, see that? No, yeah, um, naturally, I don't want to talk about it, but I will say this naturally, mm -hmm. like Nanyoli uh, Tolinto mm -hmm. we are we are two different people. Mm -hmm. You understand? It is in the same way, you understand? What is natural, whether MPP, UDP, uh, PDOIs or any other party that's mm -hmm. natural. Mm -hmm. So, but I think for they themselves can answer that question. <laughs> but not a lie, <laughs> <laughs> But I bet the other party will have better party. No, I'm a better party. You understand? But say, I will tell, give you two things. By a common president, Barobul. Five months of the Kasong Kara You understand? A common mantra NPP. Molbe MPP, MPP la interest so sort of first and your sub of a last one. Eco hands a motor maribu. Or you know, the bubble for that's it. Then that's that's your problem. Yes. I'll ask you about SFL. Mm -hmm. He is also running. Uh, and you have people really that are that are with him, uh, that support him. And he is touting himself as the best candidate, <laughs> selling himself really uh, as the best candidate uh, uh, that he's educated. Uh, that he is successful. Mm -hmm. uh, the problem with this country is that we put uneducated or least educated people, people. in office. Yeah. As MP, what is your view on SFL? I mean, Jai, I will not uh, go directly to SFL himself, but I will generalize this uh, answer. If you look at it, Gambians, we are very unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Unfortunate in the sense that the time people were scouting out to jet those who call themselves the so-called elites. They could not be found. They could not be found at the time. Why? Because they are afraid. That's the fact. Where are they at the time? They are afraid to, 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 to uh, how to call it, to rescue their own country. But now, the Jambia has gone. Everybody, all the flies can come out. Everybody can come out and cat and dogs, everybody's dancing. You can never tell. But the fact is, the time we need them, where are they? That's the question. So they should answer that. They should answer that. Because let me tell you, Niaje Barobina, 
fa avec le président ya on sait gambe di ngelo so men educate be banta dol be jam nyin ko be form ta nyame nyin ko ale suno ni fengo de little elite singa men so do ya alaje e ben banko ka anin karam balol wallata te dende banko rescue akam da karanal wol bebe mabori no, laran da no e be kata mabori ne ni succès kada dron ye borna ni na place ni non la they come and show themselves out to the public to so, gambe o karanal ko la gambe that's what they do that's the fact that's what they do say mon nyaayel do la ibinale abe dure wado men be struggle na banda talaro e kembe nyaala na do bodi tan en kay do la moy be sirina o etam so call elite sled so mo lela ko be ke pare de te na te na o enjoy that will never happen so bagala monkey walk babu babu so that will never happen so esa fara bo mo lel ko abo la ko of course esa fara bo mo la ko abini jambe be jambe sula re be lele we need all of them to come up at least yem yem ma ko but i more more at that time for more not for baro more baro wind everything settle down so now more be mu jamba rolti mo be mu londi tiyolde mo be le exposta you understand so that is why me i have a principle media houses national assembly or lower body people these are the people that i will go and discuss politics with them because nga jelo ko tata to extend that nobody want to respect anybody you will find me in the ghetto sitting with my boys we are chatting we don't discuss politics football and other stuff and how are we going to do our feet but not politics If you want to talk to me about politics I pack you. Because at the end the latter part will be negative. You understand? Because nobody want to respect anybody. We can discuss politics. I can sit with you and you sabanga na idea politics is all about ideology. Sell your ideology to me and I will also sell mine to you. Mm-hmm. But mul ma ko de mul yak insult le din castigation and other stuff is 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 terrible. The castigation is there but then let's also see Now you have the NPP slash mm-hmm. uh, APRC and others coalition yeah. uh, alliance. Mm-hmm. Then you have the opposition. Mm-hmm. You have six there about mm-hmm. parties uh, in talks mm-hmm. for an opposition grand coalition. Mm-hmm. Do you see that happening? No, I don't see that happening. Why? Because their ideologies are different. Like for example, if you share the same ideology with me we can came into town i can say lamin now you have 50 i have 50 mm-hmm. i want you to leave this for me i leave this for you yeah. in that way we can have negotiation what i can tell you the oppositions in this country now they cannot go into coalition because i have my reasons of saying that because the reason is if you look at uh, for example mama kande the vote that he have tell me one opposition party that ever had that vote for the first time Is there any opposition party that have the vote the number of vote Mama Kande got in 2016? Which of the opposition parties got that? In well, history, all of, almost all of the parties are pretty new. They've never even a- a- exactly gone to an election. So do you yet. expect? Do you expect Mama to leave his party and go to another party? Well, actually, but Esafal wants all of them to collapse their no, own no, ambitions. No, and, and let me tell you, Esa never him. contested. Yes. So Esa would not know his rate if you contest. That's but, but he is saying that. His support base mm. has reached 700,000 Gambians. <laughs> you have uh, you have about nine so, no, no, I, I don't base I don't base, people. I, I don't base my arguments based on speculation. Mm-hmm. He has to give us the fact, the statistic that his support base is this. You understand? Mm-hmm. And we have to get that statistic from the IEC. But Esa cannot just predict that based on speculation. He has. We have to go through the figures. If you look at it for example like PPP and during the Jawara regime they will tell you in 19 this this is the number of votes this is the percentage they have coming back to this election this is the number of votes this is the percentage they have like UDP in 1996 or 7 this is what they have in 2001 this is what they have in 2011 things like that we will know statistically this is what these people have but Esa never contest do it mama is stupid to just go and and go to a party that has never been contesting an, an, an election mama will not do that 
No, no, I'm, I'm, I don't expect him to do. I that. have, I have seen someone actually. Do you think UDP leader. will go to Esafa? Yeah, but what, what? No, what, I'm just what, saying. Do you think UDP will go that, to Esafa? That is highly unlikely. That is, uh, that is going to be very difficult. So they will leave their party and go to <laughs> Esafa. I mean, it could, it, it could happen if, <laughs> then if, if, if they do that. That's yes. a desperate move. Yes. If they do that, yes. that's a desperate that's, move. That's a desperate of move. Of course. You know, politics sometimes des desperate. <laughs> you cannot discount desperate moves. But also, you, I have seen one party leader say, or calling on all the opposition leaders to just go, all of them, and back Dabo. Mm -hmm. This Who's, is what he wants. Juara said this. Who is Juara? Why Juara said this. Huh? He said all of them should collapse their own ambitions and then... Back down. No, it's not about you see this is this is why in politics I don't know whether the way we read it at the university or what, mm. but in politics I cannot just say now I'm going to collapse my ambition and you know it's not the ambition but the ideology that you have that is why I told you that mm. I respect them because they go with their ideology with principles you understand it's not about I have the ambition to be the president no I can came into politics, but I have this ambition that I'm going to regulate the activities of the government only, but not mm -hmm. to be at the seat. Yes. You understand? Mm -hmm. Others can come in there. I, get, I, I am in politics for the reason that yes. I want the state resources to be, f to be shared fairly. So you have to have a principle, a ideology guided by principle. But if you say we have to collapse all our ambitions, what, what is your ambition? What is embedded in your manifesto? There are certain parties here, if you ask them about their manifesto, what is embedded there? Can they sell that manifesto to the people? They cannot. Because it's one-man party. Some political parties are one-man party. So this is, this is the problem. This so is the problem. so what, works, what works best <coughs> for the NPP in terms of this election? Um, is it if, if all the opposition leaders decide to go on their own, mm -hmm. not form any coalition mm -hmm. against NPP? Do you think that really works very well for the for the for the for the NPP? No, that, that means there will be no election. Of course, there will be election. No, it's going to be for just a formality. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say that? What do you? Mean? I am the, well. I mean, just to formalize things. Yes. When they don't come together, it's just going to be a formality. Of course, because automatically, Baro is going to win. And I know. So you well. are saying an opposition coalition would present a little more challenge to the NPP May, maybe than five percent or three percent, maybe mm. five percent or three percent because Gambians are not sleeping. But I, you I, and I know that Laminja, peace is the source of civilization. Peace is the source of civilization, and civilization is the source of peace. Yes. So without peace, nothing can go. Mm -hmm. Nothing can happen. And people realize that if certain political parties happens to be in power, there will be revenge. Mm -hmm. No doubt about it, there will be revenge. But when you talk about this revenge thing, yeah. the party that everybody t points to mm -hmm. is UDP. And we have seen Why, why did they point leader. at them? To be fair to them. Why did no, they, why to be, did they to point at them? them? At the Sukuta meeting, Dabo mm -hmm. made it categorically clear, clear that UDP is not a party <clears> of revenge. But let me tell you, do you expect me to take Davos words? This is a political leader. No, no, no a, a leader no, that I'm has saying, been known for being I'm honest. I'm saying, do you expect for me being to, honest? Do, do you expect me to take his words? Why wouldn't you take his Very words? Very good question. Davos stood here and said, if anybody wanted to challenge President Barrow for five years, he's going to sue you to court. What does that have to no, do? No, with no, no. Let me. I'm just coming. Okay. I'm telling you about ideologies and principles yes, in politics. Yes. He said that. Yeah. Did he maintain that principles? Did he maintain that? But and he but turned around. But but wait, yes. he turned around and said, yes. President Barrow should honor the three years agreement when they sack him. He gave, he also gave. No, no, I'm coming. I'm just giving you. He, yes. I'm just giving you the issues. Dabo said President Barrow is Moses for saving them. Now he's not Moses. No, I'm coming. I'm just trying to yes. uh, com compare things Go to on. you. He further said, uh, Jambe is better than President Barrow for him. So, let me just, if you tell me this is what Dabo said, and you expect me to believe in that. So, as, <coughs> as Honorable MP Alhaji Jawara, you yes. are never ever going to believe anything that comes out of the mouth of Dabo. Yes, I'm not going to believe it. Because he has already manifested that to me. Clearly, 
and the, the whole Gambia knew. The whole Gambia knew. Honestly speaking, the three years agreement could be honored by the president. You understand? Mm -hmm. And people were saying that this is morality versus legal. Yes. You understand? People said that. But when people say that, and the president has all right to resign because the constitution, there is a way for the president to resign. And all these other political parties can go back and do the election and come. You understand? But when he went out publicly to say, if anybody wants him to resign, he is going to sue you to the high court. People see that, yes, the, the supremacy of the constitution has to be respected. Many people back out. And the president goes for five years. You turn around challenging the same president for, for the seat. Which kind of person are you? Which kind of person are you? Are you, you are a man without no principle. Yet, I'll support all more, yeah, because hmm? couldn't believe no, 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 it like Kerawan. Because for me, believe it like Kerawan, when they that's are what, entering Kerawan. That's Karawan. what I'm saying. Yes. Not all supporters can see this. But supporters, Jiki Data Mari Memphanale, Kato Faye. It is your responsibility to enlighten them. It's not just that we are National Assembly members, we should be sitting at the campus. We will not have interaction with our people, no. Or we will not talk to the public on medias and other stuff, no. We have to enlighten people about this is the kind of man, man Lamin Jai is. This is the kind of man Alaji Jaura is. Lamin Jai, I tell you, even the time I was in UDP, I don't fear nobody. I will tell you the fact. If you want anything, then we do it. No, I book a kelog. No, I book a kelog. But in the no, yeah, no. The fact is, it is high time for people to speak the truth. You yeah. understand? Yeah. We have to speak the truth. And the, well, and because Allah support our believe that a caravan can go double may borrow Cindy at a double killing of the borrow at a borrow Jindil. This is what they say. You can double may, you can double may borrow Cindy. I see, the double who made borrow president uh -huh. is the same double who is going to remove him. How? Well, this is what his supporters were chanting no, all night know, yesterday. You know, you know, when we are talking about um, how to call it the heroes, you understand? I believe. We should talk about Soro Sanding, um, Modungom, Fatma Rajaura, Lamin Yabo, and others. These are the people who went out to say that we need, we demand this, we want this and this in the, at the electoral reform. Dabo went out because he don't have choice. They had to do it. They had to do it. There's no choice. Because somebody lost his life because of him. And others are in coma because of him. So he don't have any choice but to go out. I was called to come to the press conference at Davos House. Not to go for uh, protest. Just two days, I, I came back from China. Lamin Chan called me that, you are here. I said, yes, I'm here. He said, OK, uh, we cannot see you tonight. But tomorrow, we have a press conference at Davos Place. Yes. You understand? I'm on my way to Davos Place, so I found them coming, saying that they need solos and they did dead or alive so you fled no i call lamin cham again and tell him that cham where are you he said we are coming where are you i said no but you tell me that this is a press conference but this is a protest he said yes come and join us immediately you, you refused no, no. You i was in the car you understand yeah. so i was about to stop the car to come out and join them then i had the gun so we were telling the taxi driver to stop he refused to stop because he's afraid. You understand? So when we had the gun, then the taxi driver moved. So, but the fact is, if people are talking about double, double, fine. He's a figure. He's a political figure. Nobody can deny that. But I heard this from Dabo himself. And I have my evidence. I have the record here. Yes. I have thousands of records of evidence in my phone. You understand? I heard this from him saying that this was planned by almost all the political parties to go out, their youth should go out and protest, except Doi. Doi said, for this kind of act, they are not going to look this country when it comes to aggressiveness. When they are going to look for the country, they are going with democratically processes. You understand? And Doi warned them that if our names are in any of your papers or in any of your computers, remove it from there. We are not going to protest to say a sitting president has to go. So you see the genuineness of Doi that I'm talking about. I'm not Doi. 
and let nobody associate with me, me with doing. But this is the fact. You understand? Mm. So, Laming guy, you know, that is why me, I, if anybody insulted me in UDP, or if anybody insulted me in any of the party, I will leave you with God. But when you push me to the corner, I have some things that if I release them, there's going to be their end. Morally, people will not look at them. Because we have that interaction. We do go out. We do many things. We do many things. I can tell you this. That is why even the president and Dabo himself, many people were talking to me about so many things, but I just reject them. Because I know that the time I was at UDP, I'm so close to the man. Very, very close to the man. And when I'm with Barrow, I'm so close to him too. So I have to be very careful whom to talk to and whom to discuss to. You understand? Because if people trust you, whatever I did with Dabo, whatever we discuss, whatever we do, I will never disclose that to any human being. For the simple fact that if I disclose it to you, you, Laminja, will never trust me for us to do anything because you will say that Alaji will disclose this to another person. That's my principle. Also, yet, I mean, the issue of Gambians, I mean, politics, yeah. and how Gambians perceive it to be. Yeah. You look at uh, when Dabo uh, crossed to the other side in Bara, mm -hmm. then he came across <laughs> MPB supporters, <laughs> and, and he was waving... He was waving at, the, at, at, at them, and uh, moments later, he, he tweeted to say, we are opponents, we are not, we are not I mean, enemies. No, in we politics, enemies. <coughs> in politics, we can be rivals, but we cannot be enemies. But what do you, you so you, you believe in, in, in what he said there? What he said, statement, yes. that statement is correct. In politics, we can be rivals, but we cannot be enemies. If I tell you today, I was speaking to a member of UDP who is in their caravan. They are in my constituency at Swarakunda. I was speaking to them. You understand? And I'm NPP and they are UDP. But we are speaking. But even at the house, at times what they will try to do is to control me. Let me not talk completely. They will come to me and say, today, beat a diamond. I say, because no, you, I are, you, are, you, are, you are known to be well, sometimes you try to cause problems trouble in, in parliament <laughs> no, no, no. even when the president came for the sauna you were one of the MPs who were trying to because no. you have the UDP MP who because he said okay let me put this what, okay. what, what honorable uh, Senate, Senate said okay. he said uh, you people are uh, 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 poster boys and poster <laughs> girls this is how he said it no, no, you, no, you no, are no. in parliament all you do is to clap for the president no, is to just defend the president no, 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 wrong no. or right? No, 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 no. I can tell you, we left UDP based on principles. Because what they want to do, we see that that's not the right thing to do and we reject it. And they, we are not happy with that, they expel us. You understand? Mm -hmm. But for the president, Laminja, you cannot be there. But I wished mm -hmm. you see us with Barrow, we were discussing about a national issue. We were discussing about a national issue. That's the time you will respect some of us. That's the time you will respect some of us. And I like Baro for one thing. If you are talking to him, he will listen to you. And when he is responding, he will tell you what you said. I don't like it anyway, but that's the fact. And we're going to do that. He told me that not one, not two, not three. I was called by somebody to say, this is not the way to talk to the president. I say yes, it doesn't mean that I'm rude to him, but it's just that I'm used to him. And he created that avenue. He created that for me. That just environment, environment to, talk to, to, to talk to him in to, a certain way. A good, so that he can know exactly what is in me. Because I told him that I will not hide my feelings from you. And I have to tell you what so we're supposed to do. I told Baro after my interview with you, you have to walk. And how are we going to work? We have to do something that Gambians will see and feel so that we can have a mandate, we can have a moral authority to talk to them to vote for you. I think you could remember that interview. Yes. So these are some of the things that we should guide the president. These are some of the things that we should share with the president. And along the line, he's going to see you like, you are a righteous man. All what you tell him is the fact. No matter what. But like, 
ndi alatanda mala manna dindi ya gibe ko alaji se chal or whatsoever there are certain things he will call me and ask for my consent and i will give him my consent and he will tell me send that no that's wrong we cannot do that that's a leader a leader has to be open to the all middle age class to the young you understand so i respect him for that what seni is saying he is wrong seni you go come far in you understand seni go come far i will come far in ah seni ko atol mu posta boys on posta girls girls let me tell you ignorant <laughs> 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 So if you don't know that elef ta kamo be mara wala men na ta parliament wala man ka parliamentarian all we are not allowed to clap when we are sitting yeah. when we are the chambers yeah. but etala min jamen na ta je do you know that in the standing order you don't know mm-hmm. you understand so therefore it is you are free from that so automatically ata ka men race i know ko seni la issue to raise the point of order purposely is just to distract the president That was it his. was deliberate it, it was deliberate just to distract the president you understand that is it it was a moment of confusion because mm-hmm. dolfon go seri be sinol i asked mm-hmm. him that he have no. sinol la de barada <laughs> 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 but i blue go so more do a barada do a at point of order i love you do no seni alonko it is clear that man sinol no no alonko ah the vitor will the block us la parliament he knew that very well and the men be blockers can they are strangers and at times parliament when we are discussing certain confidential issues mm-hmm. we have right to 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 raise a point of order for strangers to excuse us all the media houses everybody we discuss within ourselves among ourselves but the problem is seni knew this very well but he just do it just to distract the president but alana ta monaki brata yo ko to molan president wala dia mona ta dia bo Otumo na table ko sona da diandul fanabu. Na yala dul fanay ya ke hadanyi ro balti. No ma ka hadanyi ro de. It's part of politics. We are living in a political house. A table be jugula do we. Nde na mo table be jugula asi baje. Parliament. I've been going to parliament but na na mal di alio table jugu ni asi baje. But it's part of politics. It's all part of politics. It's all part of politics. Because parliament is a house of politicians. So it's all part of politics. To give more fire to the president to see stay what he want to say. More fire. And automatic more fire. <laughs> So the matter can be a key for goal. So parliament is about tricks. Yes. If you don't understand those tricks, yes. it in company full full of the sharing, mo dia do work. Because parliament at the later part is going to be majority got the votes. So some of their people even that they, they don't come. The life of Yakumba, Suleiman Sao, Madi Sise, and who else? Uh, Sanajao Rambadi. <laughs> All of them. All man. So, Imanna, why? maybe busy that <laughs> you know it they, maybe they were they were busy so the president at the weekend tomorrow <laughs> I, I, i think he's already on his way to buy for exactly. the for the for the inauguration, inauguration. you you be there of course i want to be there you want to be there yeah, what do you make of that basse really the transformation transformation there you are is massive laminjai basse be gambia la kono in fact we can say basse is our second capital But for how many years Basin Kol can na mole jo muna ne manyi fion soto no na political leader dol moy je ko meni tata basse manya na tala basse enya ndaka ta dula dol dot basse man ka priority as a leader looking for a state should you alter such words the question is no you should not even han na man ka priority but amanya na bolet da ko choice of words are very important when you are leading how would the people of basse feel about that you understand no mo fa na mo ko ye doctor wal sama na ba bi ya sama ya sam bi yale e ma ye sato lo fo ye sato be ko ma sam ba to ba ya sam bi yale and you want to govern the whole country yes yes still choice of words so but me me fa la basse ko le wala nyende ko nyen shiro Lafta e pesdem baro bendu nyaala me alon ko anamanke 
because afana fene ke me alongo masana mna ke ila marshal ila silo ila bridge these are wonderful these are capital project and i know ko president baroni mota nyo sabara basel no 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 ani mota nyo sabara basel and like i would tell you kmc and west coast we are done with that the oic is about to kick off how many how many roads almost to 20 roads so this is what we need no politician on moy janne mo fon karamo doctor sise yes ako pole de gom na di ka silol de la ka dula be de la ni ga so ko da ta but that is it ya on the side wala mala ambition de wala mala ngani yote pro kake ya on the side but uh, choice of words is very important in policy mon na to turn in a way just to mock at him so i want to make this i want to use this opportunity to make that clear ko it doesn't mean that ko kasuko ta tail but the message that he is trying to yeah, yeah, say yeah the message he was trying to, yes, yes, what yes. he want for the it's people is just development exactly development yeah but that can but the problem is your critics will let critics will exactly twist it they twist it and yeah, try to make it like, to make him look look funny Yes, it's terrible. But then honorable, thank you nga na time mo bandal friend. But thank, thank you, you so for, much. for 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 coming. Mm -hmm. uh, appreciate it as thank always. You. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank uh, you. Before we go, a three-year project by the European Union, uh, Take Fee uh, slash GIZ uh, project has ended last week in 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 Basse. The three-year project was designed to support Gambian youth in terms of their development and empowerment. More in the support. Many youth across the country have been benefiting from the Takifi project in partnership with GIZ. The three-year-long project is geared towards helping these youth on their career development and empowerment. Speaking at the ceremony, the Area Council Chairman, Sene Kanute, says youth empowerment is significant as they constitute the biggest person in the country's population. He also thanked partners who took up the initiative to equip these youths. The event was punctuated with a drama performed by people of St. George's, depicting the significant shift the project has on the life and livelihood of young people. Failure means try again. If you fail, that means you are one step towards success. You all have potential careers to develop on. So that you are not ready. Go and make the use of what you have. And calmly, you could become, become a professional carpenter as you are in the making. So go and make the world proud of yourself and a better place for you. Sambaba, the governor of URL, also thanked the organizers for bringing this development to the youth of the region. I think what has been done for GIZ and Tekifi in this country is something that will continue to live with us for life. Because when you looked at it, the GIZ Tekifi Gambia project concentrated on what? On youth development and empowerment. And I always say, there cannot be any meaningful development in a country if the youth sector is left out. And therefore, they came in as a project to also help to develop and educate the young people of this country in order for them to what, secure employment and at the same time also have what we call self-employment. Mr. Fabio Germano, the team leader of GIZ, explains the significance and achievement of his organization over the years. Mr. Germano adds that despite the struggles with the pandemic, the purpose of the project has been implemented fully. Training opportunities and career perspectives to over 1,100 youths in this region alone. These young women and men who have graduated from the numerous programs we offered, whether through skills training, apprenticeship or business development, have all validated the Techie Fee principle, affirming that, yes, it is possible to make it here in URR without having to go to combos or take the back way. Affirming that yes, there is an alternative to unemployment, crime and drugs. And this alternative consists of acquiring new skills, building on the talents you have and realizing your potential as young citizens of this country and in particular of this region. The youth who have already benefited from the GIZ project thank the team for their support. The GIZ team proceeded to LRL where they did a similar work. The youth of LRL through Tekifi GIZ initiative trained the youth of LRL in business, entrepreneurs and skills training. Highlighting the significance of the training, the governor of LRL, Abba Sanyang, says 
This training has saved the life of many LRR youths while urging them to utilize from what they have learned. We are not going to compromise anything that has to promote the socio-economic development of our young people, our young men and women. You are the future generations. You are going to be the future doctors, you are going to be the future engineers, you are going to be the future technical uh, uh, technicians, you are going to be the future govern governors. Failure once is not the end of the story. It's just even to test your belief in yourself. We all failed one or two courses in our schools, exams. I'd be very surprised if anyone in the world would